Hello buddies, welcome back, it's Antifi and today we have something new. We have the nothing phone. I've never seen that one before, I've never had it in my hands. Um, I don't know if one of you guys um, had one before, um, but we're going to go through the first steps together. Um, first impression, it looks like an iPhone to me, um, just from the form and then from the side um, with the buttons here and also here with the power on and off button. Um, we have a dual camera here and that also just looks like on my iPhone 12. Um, and then we have this open back here. It looks really fancy. Um, we have some exposed screws. We have LED lights around the wireless charging um, thingy. And then LED lights around the camera here and then an exclamation mark here. So we will have a look at how this one works and we'll set it up together. So connect to a mobile network. If you have a SIM card, insert it now. So it shows us where the SIM card needs to go and um, then we can insert it. Uh, we will make a different video for that, a separate one, but you go ahead and put that SIM card in. We're gonna skip this part right now. And then it asks us to connect to a Wi-Fi. Um, obviously you want to connect to a Wi-Fi to like download apps and stuff. Um, so we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi and put in our password. So I put in my password now and then if you click on show password, it will show you your password and then click on connect. Getting the phone ready. So this looks the same as on any other Android phone. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised because it is an Android phone. So this takes some time. Got to be patient here. Um, but we had other phones that take, take their time as well. So now we come to another step that we know from other phones as well. Um, copy apps and data. You can now choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts and more. Um, so you can get your old device and transfer your data um, from the old one to this new one. Um, but you can also say don't copy and then you will start fresh, so to say. Um, when you click on next, the phone will tell you what to do. So we would like get a cable, get your old device and then um, we'll transfer the data. We say don't copy. We also don't have another device we want to copy um, data from. So Google sign in with your Google account. You want to sign in with your Google account to like get your emails, um, but also for the Play Store and all that kind of stuff. So we sign in with our Google account. Um, if you don't have a Google account already, then you can create one here. Then we need to enter our password next. So same here, if you click on show password, it will show you your password. And if you put it in right, just click on next. Then we have the good old um, Google Terms of Service. Uh, so we published the Google Terms of Service so that you know what to expect as you use our services. By clicking I agree, you agree to these terms. Um, you don't have any other option here than to click on I agree or don't add this account now. Then your Google account won't be added. Um, but if you ever want to add a Google account, you need to agree to these terms anyway. So now we come to Google services, um, back up to Google Drive, use location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data. You can enable and disable these as you like. Um, if use location is enabled, you can disable and enable the allow scanning part by itself. Is the use location thingy off, then you cannot um, say that you still want to allow the scanning part. So you can customize that and when you're ready you can click on accept. Now you can choose your search engine and if you click on these little arrows here um, it will tell you what the engine does. So it kills you for example plant trees and protect your privacy as you search. Panda search, search with panda and support WWF projects and campaigns. Um, so that's up to you. I'm going to go with Yukosia and then say next. Set a pin for added security. Set a pin to unlock the device. 
um, we also have a separate video for that so we can skip this part right here um, skip setup for pin and fingerprint a pin is required to set up fingerprint unlock a pin protects the phone if it's lost or stolen yes we know continue setup i keep going to get your device fully set up or leave now and get a reminder to finish later so these are the first steps that you need to take on this phone um, so you can continue but you can also leave and get a reminder for the different things later um, we say leave and get a reminder later terms and conditions uh, you notice terms and conditions you notice here um, the writing I think that's pretty cool um, important before using nothing phone one please read the following terms and conditions carefully by using phone one you are agreeing to the bound by the nothing and user license agreement your information will be managed according to nothing's privacy policy at all times so you can get more information here um, I'm not gonna read it through them right now and say agree otherwise we can't use the phone um, experience improvement programs that's also something that pops up on other phones um, data collection this program collects usage data to improve phone one your privacy will be protected system stability program join the system stability program to help us troubleshoot nothing os faster and nothing notifications enable notifications for surveys and product updates um, these are all enabled right now but you can disable them no they actually how wait what is enabled and what is disabled i can't tell the difference by the gray tone um probably light means enabled so I don't turn any of these on right now. Um, you can probably change that later in your settings as well. Introducing glyphs, contacts, notifications, customize and instantly recognize who's contacting you with light and sound pattern. Okay, so this is about the LEDs on the back. System navigation. Um, so we have the gesture navigation or the three button navigation. So the gesture navigation is more like an iPhone type of style uh, where you just like swipe up and go inwards from the left or right um, edge. And the three button navigation is just that you have these three little dots on the bottom of your phone and then it brings you to a menu back to your home screen or like back one page. Um, so we go with a gesture navigation sure why not and now we have the welcome sign and it says swipe up to start i want to oh boy okay so this is our home screen looks fancy it reminds me of like a the outside of a container i think but it looks really cool actually so this is the initial setup we're gonna go ahead and insert a sim card and change some stuff and customize it further um in different videos oh this popped up now um but this is the setup hope you liked it hope it helped if so thumbs up share and subscribe and i hope to see you next time bye